If you would, open your Bibles with me over to Psalm 11. We'll be there in just a few minutes. We're going to read that together. But this is a psalm of David. David begins the entire psalm by saying, In the Lord I take my refuge. And so that's a statement of faith. It's really the foundation for the rest of the psalm. Like it was the one place that David could find security and safety and asylum. And so apparently David had some friends or some counselors that told him, flee as a bird to the mountains. Get out of here, David. Got to run. Be afraid. Go. Now, I have no doubt they have David's best interest in their minds, trying to think about his well-being. But David knew that that was the wrong thing. And so I'm assuming that this was during the time of David's flight from King Saul. You could imagine how stressful that would have been. You have the king of Israel chasing you around with his armies, trying to kill you. Could you imagine the president of the United States was doing that to you? This was one of the hardest moments of David's life. You might stop to think, well, wait a minute. <laughs> Do I deserve this? Do I really have what's coming to me? And I'm assuming that these are some of David's closest friends, maybe his counselors, maybe even his mighty men telling him to flee, to, to kill King Saul, uh, to do whatever, but do things his way instead of trusting in the Lord, doing things the Lord's way. And David had his mind made up even before, long before the psalm was ever written that he was going to trust in the Lord. How about us? There's lots of alternatives, lots of different places we can turn to try to find security. You know, I think you could title this psalm, Face Response to Fear's Counsel. They're telling David, be afraid, run, flee, go. When David, it seems like the foundations are crumbling out from underneath his feet. He knew that there was but one place he could find stability and security, and that was in the Lord. So let's go ahead and read this psalm together. Let's begin there in Psalm 11, verse 1. In the Lord I put my trust. How can you say to my soul, flees a bird to your mountain? For look, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow on the string, that they may shoot secretly at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids test the sons of men. The Lord tests the righteous, but the wicked and the one who loves violence, his soul hates. Upon the wicked he will rain coals, fire and brimstone and a burning wind shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteousness. His countenance beholds the upright. The psalm is basically divided in two different parts. In verses 1 through 3, you have David responding to his counselor saying, How can you tell me to do anything other than trust in the Lord and find my refuge in him? But then in verses 4 through 7, which we're going to look at, David gives three different reasons why he finds refuge in the Lord. Number one, because of where God is. Number two, because of who he is. Number three, because of what he'll do. See, David doesn't have to fear the wicked because of where God resides. He's in his temple. He's here on this earth. He's with us. He's with those who are his, like David. But then the second extreme is that he's high above everything else. He's sitting on his throne, reigning, watching, testing all men, and he's going to judge those who are wicked. David also finds real security in who God is because God is good and, and he, he loves things that are good and he detests things that are evil. And he finds safety because of what God will do. And David finds his protection in what God's going to do because he's going to punish those who are wicked with fire and sulfur. But he's also going to bring the greatest blessing on those who are righteous. And not just protection, but the satisfying security in his own presence. We all have two options. Uh, we can seek security and safety in things that will give us a false sense of it, but then ultimately fail us. Or we can seek security in the Lord, in Jesus, who reigns but draws near. Who came to conquer wickedness. And not just in the world, but died so that you could conquer wickedness in your life. And who is returning to judge the world but to bring the ultimate blessing to those who trust in him, including spending the rest of eternity in his presence. Thank you for reading the Bible with me today. Hopefully that was helpful for you. But make sure to like, comment, and share, and follow for more studies, more readings just like this one.